Dima formally accepted the invitation to participate in the next coming Miss Nigeria. Hello everyone, my name is Chidima Vanessa Onoe Adechina and I cannot start off this video without expressing my gratitude to the incredible people who have shown me so much love and so much support. Now I have received an invitation from the Silverbird Group who are the organizers of the Miss Universe Nigeria Beauty Pageant. And I say this with great excitement because I have decided to participate in the Miss Universe Nigeria 2024 Beauty Pageant. Now I understand the expectations and responsibilities that come with this title and I am so excited to embark on this journey. And I just want to say thank you so much for this opportunity and I'm looking forward to participating in Africa's most prestigious beauty pageant, Miss Universe Nigeria. Yes! 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 Whoever has any opinion, negative opinion, against Chidema for accepting that invitation from South Africa need to go and hog a transformer. Need to go and hog a transformer. If I am a father to a beautiful girl like Chidima, or to any girl out there, I will always teach that daughter not to ever give up. Don't soak yourself in pity, sentiment, sorrow, all because one door was shut. That doesn't mean other doors won't open. Now we see some South Africans say, okay. Okay, you are not going to Nigeria, Abi, so you are in Nigeria now. You said Chidima wasn't a South African. That Chidima is a Nigerian. Now it's coming to Nigeria. You guys are complaining again. Do you want this girl to let go of her dreams? Or because of your pity sentiment? Do you want Chidima to let go of her dreams? Is that how you're going to teach your, your, your daughters? Is that how you're going to teach your children to let go of dreams because of some certain individuals who just feel like it's within them to bring you down? Well, Chidima, you do absolutely the right thing. And God know if there was any kind, like if there is any kind of voting, I will vote for you. I will vote for you. Although, like this girl said, this girl, uh, Cindy Tago, that is a South Africa girl, said, selecting someone from the crowd without them going through the formal process is unfair to those who need it. Why are you putting your mouth in uh, Nigeria affairs? Why are you putting your mouth in Nigeria affairs? There are some people who do not need to go through the normal process because of their story. Yeah. Because of their story, there are people who do not need to go through the normal process. Hmm? They extended an invitation for her to participate. And she accepted that invitation. Good and fine, man. I'm so, so happy. In fact, uh, I pray Chidima should win that beauty pageant. I pray Chidima wins that beauty pageant. It will be a story of the decade. You know, rejected stone from South Africa became the hero of Nigeria. You know, something like that, you understand? So please, let her breathe. Is that how you're going to teach your kids? And when one door is shut, it's shut forever. Your destiny is shut forever. You can never be what you want to be in this life because that one door was shut. Is that how you're going to teach them? I hope Chidima wins because it's going to is going to make a lot because of the story behind Chidima's Odin for the past few months, past few weeks. I hope he, I hope she wins. Honestly, I hope she wins. I hope Chidima honestly wins because she actually deserves it because of the story. I understand there are certain people who also deserve it, but I am rooting for Chidima. This guy said, "Our South African." We are fully behind our Miss Chidima for accepting the invitation of participating in the Miss Universe Nigeria 2024 beauty pageant. We will vote for her. Hey, you are not in Nigeria, so your vote won't count. Then this guy said that they said, Igbo dominates the administration 
of the Miss Universe Nigeria uh, pageant. As South Africa rejected Chidima over fraud, they invited the Aibu sister to Nigeria uh, pageant. Corruption plus nepotism. I predict she already won before competing. Just drop the Yoruba surname. Video below. Eh? That one are your own. I'm going to support Chidima. And meanwhile, let's hear from Miss South Africa. The real Miss South Africa, that is Mia. Speaking on what happened to uh, Chidima. It was extremely hard for us as each one of us personally know and love Chichi. She's our little Chichi and we've grown to know her and love her. And we truly do not believe that she deserved it as we know her and she's a phenomenal, powerful, beautiful woman in her own right. And she deserved her spot on the South Africa. And I stand for unity. I do not stand for people being divided. So I do think we can do better in that aspect. We need to support and include one another because she was excluded. Yeah. And that's not okay. Yeah. And that's not okay. Yeah. And well, I think you guys actually choose the the right mid South Africa for you guys. You know, you know one thing about uh, standing in front of the camera to address the public is saying the things that you do not actually mean. Maybe behind, maybe she might be saying, ah, thank God she lost. Without her losing, I wouldn't be here. Well, I but she spoke well. Let me not take that away from her. She spoke well. And uh, I wish her the best. In South Africa is none of our business, but it's the discrimination that you guys show to Chidima. And now Chidima has accepted the Nigeria Beauty Pageant invitation. And you guys are about to lash at Chidima again. Allow her to breathe, guys. Allow her to breathe. So let's talk about uh, Elsa. Elsa, a very popular TikTok girl who recently frowned at the new normal in Africa. You know, as a guy man, as a man, as a woman, if you are made or if you are doing well, it, you have the sole responsibility to send money home. To send money to your siblings, to send money to your father. It's not as if it's compulsory, but so responsibility. Because we look after one another. So let us listen to Elsa, what she said recently about that particular thing. Sending money back home or to your extended family is such a common African practice that I that I absolutely hate. I, I saw my dad doing it. And I don't even know any of my extended family. I saw him doing it with his brothers, with his sisters with his grandparents parents like everyone in the family as long as you have a job they expect you to share that money accordingly and that is just something i will not be participating it i i already knew i would never participate in this like how do you come and tell me oh my kids are starving yeah they're starving because you're fucking lazy get off your ass get a job and feed your kids and also there's this um one there's this one like extended family member of ours and she used to ask my dad for money and she texted me and she asks me for money. You've been asking my dad for money since before I was born. I was born, I was raised, I grew up. Now you're asking me for money. You lazy son of a bitch. I am not fitting your habits. I'm not fit Clearly you're too, you're too lazy to be alive. I will let you starve. The fuck? <laughs> well, I was hardly paying attention. With that different product, she keeps spraying on her body. Only you. Those different okra products, oil products, uh, different kind of skincare you keep spraying on your body. Come on, man. Come on, man. But apart from that, though, I kind of like I understand extended family. You know, I think we have the sole obligation to take care of our direct family. But extended family is when you can, you assist. When you can, you assist. But there are some extended family that see it as an obligation. You know? They see it as something that you need to do. And guess what, guys? If you want to be rich, and if you want to remain rich, if you want to remain successful, you must be able to say, no, I do not have. If you do not have the habit of saying no, huh, you will never become successful. All your success will be swallowed by your family. 
swallowed by your family. You have to learn how to say, I do not have. No. You might say it in a very polite way. You don't need to be rude. You don't need to say, I wish you, you starve. You are too lazy. No, 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 no. Because she went so deep. You will say it in a very polite way. I do not have. Please, when I have, I will let you know. But right now, I do not have. That is really, really polite. Mm? Really, really polite. No issue. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching support again. Link. Catch you next time.